My father, Sir Edmund Hillary, is renowned for his mountaineering feats. His name is synonymous with adventure and the relentless pursuit of conquering the world's highest peaks. His legacy is one of courage, determination, and an unyielding spirit. However, my own path led me to conquer different summits, those found within the intricate world of art. While my father scaled mountains, I found my challenges within the delicate and detailed realm of art conservation. For 40 years, I've had the privilege of working as an art conservator at the Auckland Art Gallery, safeguarding our cultural heritage. This role has allowed me to protect and preserve the artistic expressions that define our history and identity. Growing up surrounded by my father's adventurous spirit instilled in me a deep appreciation for exploration and discovery. His stories of expeditions and the unknown fueled my curiosity and desire to uncover the hidden layers of the world around me. In many ways, art conservation became my own expedition, a journey into the heart of artistic creation. Each piece of art I work on is like a new terrain to explore, with its own unique challenges and rewards. My fascination with art began at a young age. I remember being captivated by the beauty and complexity of paintings, spending hours in galleries and museums, lost in the stories they told. I was always drawn to the textures, the colors, and the stories that paintings held. Each brushstroke seemed to whisper secrets of the past, and I was eager to listen and learn. This passion led me to pursue a career in art conservation, a field that combines my love for art with my interest in science and history. It is a perfect blend of creativity and analytical thinking, allowing me to delve into the technical aspects of art while preserving its beauty. Little did I know that this path would lead me to uncover hidden secrets and preserve artistic legacies for generations to come. Each discovery is a testament to the enduring power of art and its ability to connect us to our past. My journey has been marked by remarkable discoveries, each one deepening my understanding of the artistic process and the importance of our role as custodians of culture. These moments of revelation are what make my work so fulfilling and meaningful. As an art conservator, I am not just preserving objects. I am preserving the stories, emotions, and histories embedded within them. Each piece of art is a window into a different time and place, and it is my honor to ensure that these windows remain open for future generations to look through and appreciate. Art conservation is a delicate dance between science and artistry. It is a field where the precision of scientific methods meets the creativity and sensitivity of artistic expression. The conservator must balance these two aspects to preserve the integrity and beauty of the artwork. It demands a deep understanding of the materials and techniques used by artists, from the pigments and binders to the canvases and supports. This knowledge allows conservators to make informed decisions about the best methods for preservation, combined with a meticulous and patient hand. Each stroke of the brush, each application of a solvent must be done with the utmost care to avoid damaging the artwork further. Our role is not to restore a work to its former glory, but rather to stabilize it to slow down the inevitable march of time. This means addressing issues like flaking paint, weakened canvases, and deteriorating materials, ensuring that the artwork can be enjoyed by future generations. We are detectives, scientists, and artisans all rolled into one. Each piece of art tells a story, and it is our job to uncover and preserve that story. This involves a combination of scientific analysis, historical research, and artistic skill. We analyze the chemical composition of pigments using advanced techniques like spectroscopy and chromatography to identify the materials used by the artist. This information can provide insights into the artist's methods and the historical context of the work. Identify the types of canvas and wood used which can reveal information about the artwork's origin and history. Understanding the materials also helps us choose the best conservation methods and study brushstrokes to understand an artist's technique. Each brushstroke is a signature of the artist's hand and analyzing these can help us understand their creative process and intentions. Our work encompasses a wide range of tasks, from the initial examination and documentation of the artwork to the actual conservation treatments. Each step requires careful planning and execution, from surface cleaning to repairing tears and filling in paint losses. 
Surface cleaning can involve removing layers of dirt and grime that have accumulated over the years, revealing the true colors and details of the artwork. We use a variety of tools and techniques, both traditional and modern, to achieve the best possible outcome for each individual artwork. This can include everything from simple brushes and scalpels to advanced imaging and analysis equipment. Sometimes, this means using tiny brushes and specialized solvents to remove layers of grime and varnish that have obscured the artist's original intent. This process requires a steady hand and a deep understanding of the materials involved. Other times, it involves carefully piecing together fragments of a shattered sculpture, using adhesives and supports to restore its structural integrity. This can be like solving a complex puzzle, requiring patience and precision, or stabilizing a fragile textile with intricate stitching. Textiles can be particularly challenging to conserve as they are often delicate and prone to deterioration. Each stitch must be carefully laced to avoid causing further, further damage. Every piece of art presents its own unique set of challenges, demanding adaptability and a keen eye for detail. Whether it's a painting, sculpture, or textile, each artwork requires a tailored approach to ensure its preservation. The work of an art conservator is never done, as there will always be new challenges and discoveries to be made in the pursuit of preserving our cultural heritage. One of the most memorable cases I encountered involved a portrait attributed to Gottfried Lindauer, a renowned 19th century painter known for his portraits of Maori people. The painting depicted a distinguished Maori chief, and its style seemed consistent with Lindauer's known works. However, something about the brush strokes and the application of paint felt amiss. To the untrained eye, the portrait might have passed as a genuine Lindauer, but to those of us trained to see beyond the surface, there were subtle inconsistencies that raised red flags. We began our investigation by examining the painting under ultraviolet and infrared light. These techniques allow us to see beneath the surface of the paint, revealing details about the underdrawing and any previous restorations. In this case, the UV light revealed a network of fine cracks in the paint that were not consistent with the age of the canvas. Further analysis of the pigments used confirmed our suspicions. They contained synthetic materials that were not available during Lindauer's lifetime. The portrait was, in fact, a clever forgery. Section 4. Unveiling Hidden Depths, A Nude Beneath the Surface. In another intriguing case, we were examining a landscape by Frances Hodgkins, a prominent New Zealand artist known for her vibrant use of color and expressive brushwork. The painting depicted a serene scene of rolling hills and a distant farmhouse bathed in the warm glow of the setting sun. As we were conducting a routine examination of the painting, we noticed an unusual texture in one area of the canvas. It appeared as though there might be something beneath the surface. Intrigued, we decided to take an X-ray of the painting. To our astonishment, the X-ray revealed the faint outline of a nude figure beneath the landscape. It seemed that Hodgkins had reused an older canvas and painted over a previous work. Further research revealed that this was not an uncommon practice for artists, especially during times when art supplies were scarce. The discovery of the hidden nude added a fascinating new layer to our understanding of Hodgkin's artistic process and her resourcefulness as a painter. Section 5. The Evolving World of Conservation. Minimal Intervention, Maximum Impact. The field of art conservation is constantly evolving. What was once a practice rooted in more invasive methods has now transformed into a discipline that values subtlety and respect for the original work. In the past, conservators often employed more invasive treatments, such as extensive cleaning or retouching, in an attempt to restore artworks to their perceived original state. These methods, while well-intentioned, sometimes led to the loss of original material and altered the artist's initial vision. However, over time, our understanding of the ethics and principles of conservation has shifted. We have come to realize that less can often be more when it comes to preserving the integrity of a piece. Today, we prioritize minimal intervention, 
striving to preserve as much of the artist's original material and intent as possible. This means using the least invasive methods and materials that will still achieve the desired outcome. We recognize that every mark on a painting, every crack in a sculpture, tells a story. These signs of aging are not just imperfections. They are historical records that provide insight into the artwork's journey through time. These imperfections are not flaws, but rather evidence of the passage of time and the artwork's journey through history. They add character and depth, making each piece unique and irreplaceable. Our role is to act as caretakers, ensuring that these stories can continue to be told for generations to come. We are not just preserving objects, we are preserving the narratives and emotions embedded within them. We employ reversible treatments whenever possible, using materials and techniques that can be undone in the future if necessary. This ensures that our interventions do not permanently alter the artwork and that future conservators can make their own decisions based on the latest advancements in the field.